So agroecology, is, it's not a new term. This is a form of sustainable agriculture, but it's more than that. It's an umbrella term for the science, how we farm sustainably, the practice of how we farm sustainably. But more than that, agroecology is also about a social movement. So when we talk about sustainable agriculture, often one doesn't think necessarily of a political dimension. But agroecology incorporates that as well. So it's looking at movements around food sovereignty, around rights to food, as well as the way we farm and the research that we need to inform the way we farm. Agroecology is farming using Mother Nature's way. Mother Nature's way is one of caring and, and, and food production systems. We farmers consider the farm as part of the ecosystem. We want to encourage biodiversity. We want to get beneficious insects into the farm. We want to get pollinators onto the farm. For every one pest, there's 1,700 beneficial insects. Now, all we need to do is to keep the correct balance is bring the beneficial insects onto the farm and they'll take care of the pests. I'm organic. I need to do companion um, gardening to help me with pest control and also to help me build the soil. We have a variety of, of vegetables in our garden. You will find the cabbage, the um, leeks, onions, and um, New Zealand spinach. We have um, carrots, turnips. When I studied commercial farming, I realized what was really happening out there in the corporate world. And that is all about production. So when I did my practical on one of the farms, we had to protect ourselves when we did the fertilizers and we did the um, pest control. And my question was, why do we need to protect ourselves from food that we're going to eat at the end of the day? We decided to take a different route. Instead of following my dream as a commercial farmer, then rather do organic, growing your own vegetable, it's cost effective. You know where your vegetables come from and it adds value to your health. So the principles of agroecology are, are already practiced by millions of small-scale farmers across the world. But we know that those systems are under threat. You know, traditional systems of agriculture over the years have eroded, they've been taken over by industrial agriculture often or by threats like mining. Small-scale farming is producing 70% of global food. The problem in South Africa is that because of apartheid and colonialism and land disposition, small-scale farming has been almost wiped off the agricultural landscape. The problem with that is the industrial farming is producing food in a country where 14 million people are starving. So we've got a government that's very supportive of genetically modified crops and promoting the use of genetically modified seed and hybrid seed over and above traditional seed. We are safe and never with night and go to the assisted disease. Uma usipe umbida, se ya utata, nabota besa su utata su nigi ku. We really have to shift cultures and we have to shift thinking within the South African government and we have to link that very strongly to what's happening around land reform um, because land reform really is an opportunity to change the way in which we do agriculture. I'm trying now to, to catch my own seeds and also to find out what is the history about the seeds. Because when you buy your seeds and you don't know where seeds come from, it's difficult to save seeds at the end of the day because that is a one-sort thing. We decided as a, the small-scale farmers to share because seeds is gold. Without seeds, there's no fruit. Once a week, Khadija would stop by on her way home and she would buy her vegetables because she prepared meals. When it's organically grown, like with, at Magdus, you know exactly what's in it. It's what you get. It, nothing, there's no pesticides or any other chemicals that they've added. It's full of nourishment. 
It's something we have to really look into and, and, and be conscious of what we put into our bodies because you can heal yourself if you eat healthy. It's very important for us to know where our food comes from because basically what we eat impacts the planet in some way or another. In buying and purchasing from small-scale fishes or from um, small-scale producers, you're actually having the minimalist impact that they can be uh, to the ecosystem and to the environment. The culture in agriculture is based on exploitation and extract extractivism. Agroecology is the opposite of that. Agroecology is about caring for the people, caring for the planet. For me, as a, as a, as a farmer doing agroecology, is my community comes first. So when we produce food, they have access to good, healthy food. The profit is not the sole motivator for us. Rather, the motivation is to be part of the community and build the community. And that is what agroecology, for me, means as a farmer.